Are you tired of losing at the Battle Maison? Are you looking at the 200 win streak that's necessary to get the Starfberry and seeing that as completely impossible? Well, fear no more. This video will show you how to get 100 straight wins and even 200 straight wins in the Battle Maison. First things first, I'm going to show you which Pokemon you need in order to dominate the Battle Maison. And that's starting off with Mega Kangaskhan. And here are the moves. Fake Out, Return, Sucker Punch, and Earthquake, and it also has an Adamant Nature. Now you may be wondering, how come it's not Jolly? Jolly is faster and will give it 328 max speed. Well, it's not necessary because one, you have Sucker Punch, and that is going to come in handy for certain Pokemon like Gengar, or if you have the Sucker Punch and Fake Out combo, you'll be able to fake out your opponent and then Sucker Punch it for the kill. And being that Mega Kangaskhan is adamant, that extra burst damage will be very key into KOing the Pokemon as fast and efficiently as possible. Next is going to the next Pokemon, Gliscor. Now Gliscor is very important because it has lots of defense and it also has moves like Toxic and Earthquake Protect and Ice Fang and Poison Heal. Now it's very important to have a Poison Heal Gliscor on this team because one, you can use Protect, heal 12% of your damage and every time that you get attacked or when the turn finishes, you'll heal 12% as well. So that's a total of 24% damage that you can heal without taking much of any type of recourse from any other Pokemon. Now with that, I have Ice Fang, Toxic and Earthquake and why these three particular moves? Ice Fang for the flying types and Earthquake for any other Pokemon that would just take normal stab damage from Gliscor. Now the Toxic is necessary because I can use Toxic and Protect and within that combination my Gliscor will heal itself and I'll be able to take any physical attack and just survive and my opponent will eventually die. It is almost guaranteed that Aphorism can take any attack that can be dished out by any type of physical attacker on the Battle Maison. Now, for the next Pokemon, we have one of the best special walls to exist, and that is Blissey. Coming in with Toxic, Soft Boiled, Seismic Toss, and Flamethrower, it's almost impossible to penetrate Blissey's special defense. Now, its nature will be Bold. Why Bold instead of Calm? Bold maximizes Blissey's already kind of terrible defense, so this will enable Blissey to take a decent amount of physical attacks and, of course, absorb even a Focus Blast with its high special bulk. Now, I use Flamethrower instead of Ice Beam because sometimes you may find yourself fighting some Steel types with Blissey that may at some point be extremely defensive to the point where even Earthquakes won't be able to penetrate its massive bulk. So Flamethrower is there to enable Blissey to quickly dispatch of any super bulky Steel types that are very weak, especially defensive wise. Also take into consideration, you want to give your Blissey leftovers and you want your Poison Heal Gliscor to have Toxic Orb because Toxic Orb immediately poisons Gliscor, enabling the Poison Heal ability to activate and of course with Blissey, leftovers will heal Blissey for 6% damage each turn making Blissey a nearly unstoppable force. Now that we have the three Pokemon that are ready for battle, let's go into battle and see how they fare on the field. And now for the true test. These Pokemon can talk the talk, but can they walk the walk? Well, we're going to find out. So let's see what you got girl cannon and she sends out Sylveon now it is very important that you send out gorgeous first aka Mega Kangaskhan because Kangaskhan is going to typically be able to KO a Pokemon almost immediately as soon as it comes out so you start off by mega evolving and then you fake out your opponent now you may say oh how come you're not using power-up punch Power Up Punch is not really good for the Battle Maison because you're typically not really going to find yourself in a position to consistently keep sweeping. So that's something that you want to take into consideration. For instance, that Sylveon flinched and it took so much damage that it's that's about 25% damage that it took. Now I normally in this case would I guess switch to Blissey but I'm just going to take a little bit of a gamble and I'm going to use Return. And yes, I penetrate through the attraction, and that's a dead Sylveon. So that's our first dead Pokemon, and our next is Leafeon. Now, Leafeons tend to be physical, and in this situation, I'm just going to return Leafeon. And oh, look at that. It made up a substitute. Now, because of parental bond, I'm easily going to be able to penetrate beyond that substitute and hit it for 
the second time. And to use Yawn, I got Drowsy. I'm not really too worried about that because, of course, I can switch and prevent myself from falling asleep. And Vaporeon is his last Pokemon. Now, because I don't want to go to sleep, I'm going to switch over to my Blissey and Toxic this Vaporeon, making it extremely easy for me to just do whatever I want to do with it. So the Surf comes, and it does <laughs> laughable damage to a Blissey. Laughable. So we all know how bulky Vaporeons can be, physically and especially defensively. So I'm just going to go for the Toxic, and now I'm going to give it a couple of seismic tosses and just call it a game. It's going to seismic, well, I'm going to seismic toss, then it's going to use another surf again. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to switch over into my Mega Kangaskhan again, just in case it happens to use something like rest or whatever. And even if it did use rest, it's not something I'm really worried about at all. Because I'll be able to take this one surf, and then, heck, I could just fake it out because, you know, faking out is a very good thing for the Battle Maze on because it makes the opponent flinch, and then things like Toxic can take more of an effect, and if you need to do just a little bit of extra damage before the Pokemon decides to use rest, then you can just come right back into the game. Now we're going to see how quickly we can crush these battles. Seven battle points. I have tons of battle points, by the way. Continue battling. Alright, the pursuit of success. Absolutely. And that is an Electros. Let's see what Mega Kangaskhan can do. Okay, so same as always, I'm going to use my fake out and my return. Now, I have to stress this point very, very intensely because a lot of people think that they can just, okay, use protect. So a lot of people think that they can get away with using power up punch and then probably using sucker punch and sweeping the rest of the team, but it doesn't work that way, folks. It really doesn't. So now I'm not going to necessarily take the chance and stay in. So. I'm going to go in and switch to my aphorism because I don't know exactly what it can do. So let's see, flamethrower? Okay, flamethrower is not going to do that much damage to my aphorism. I'm going to use protect. Okay, now look at that. Look at that poison heal, healing myself up. And I could use protect if I wanted to, but I just don't need to. And there's the flamethrower. So now the reason why I sent in my aphorism is because electrosis can also be physical. And I didn't want to really put myself in that situation. So now I'm just going to use protect because why not? And now I see that it's definitely a special attacking type. So I'm not really worried about that. And now I'm going to ice fang it because, well, you know, it's what you don't really see is that it's levitating and that's his ability. So. You know, you don't want to waste a move. So, gonna give it a little Ice Fang. Okay, now I'm predicting it to use Protect again. So, I'm gonna switch over to my Gorgeous. So that I can have my Gorgeous out. And, Flamethrower. Well, doesn't make a difference. Non stab Flamethrower. Not really doing much to an Electros. All right, I'm gonna use my fake out, and that should be enough to kill the Electros, definitely. And yes, when you get very much later into the battles, they'll be using things like leftovers and all types of stuff. Okay, and there's a skunk tank. This should be an easy Oko. I'm just gonna earthquake it, and that crit wasn't even necessary. It really wasn't, because the parental bond would have hit it again, and that would have been it. And now we have a Toxicroak. I'm just going to stay in an Earthquake and finish off that Toxicroak real fast. Yup, it was a fighting type. And of course, by the way, by the way, that's why I have Earthquake, not Stone Edge. Uh, I don't even think <laughs> Mega Kangaskhan can get Stone Edge, but this is why I have those unique set of moves. And as you can see, I barely really had to switch into any other Pokemon. So, I don't know. Should I end it here? I don't know. 
yeah, I'm gonna end it here. So that's pretty much it. Um, this is so good. This team is it's almost impossible to beat this team. It's it just destroys the Battle Maison. When I said I'm gonna show you a team that dominates the Battle Maison, I didn't mean dominate. I mean absolutely obliterate. It's no competition. No competition at all. You're gonna streamline your way into a 200 win streak, no problem. Well, that's all there is, and until next time, I will see you in the next video. Well, see you later.